Hello Libra, how are you? My name is Donna. Welcome to the channel. Let's look and see what your overall intention is at this time in your love life. The overall energy for your love life. Setting intentions. This is a very positive deck. Wild Rose Fairy. You want love? This is the Oracle deck of the Sacred Forest by Denise Lynn for those of you interested. Okay, Aspen Spirit courage so you want love and you have the courage to find it at this time so does a person of interest have the courage to find you so libra libra new beginnings nice okay so let's jump in here and see what's going on let's see. for our beautiful libra friends hope everyone's doing well the mercury retrograde has been very strange <laughs> this time i'm a gemini with a virgo rising i have a double mercury and it hit hard so tell me in the comments below what mercury retrograde has done for you let's see what we have oh so you and your person are looking you may have met on the internet we see the the card of gemini energy you know trying to get knowledge looking for you know someone or something looking things up on the internet aquarius energy maintaining a very calm cool collected very sort of a delightful sense of calm in the relationship we have the capricorn queen the queen of pentacles very much about having something solid in your relationship the two of coins says that you are probably going to have a choice between two lovers right now you're not necessarily certain about how you feel in terms of what's going to happen in the future but look at that we have the king and queen of pentacles so that is a divine partnership it looks as though you may also have an aquarius so we have taurus capricorn aquarius pisces uh, capricorn and uh, gemini the tower card ooh, out of the blue comes a lightning strike that is quite beautiful this is the best tower card i've ever seen it's so gorgeous you know the tower is an epiphany it's a sudden sense of enlightenment it can be a breakup it can be a makeup it can be anything highly un um highly surprising the devil energy okay spirit is saying that there is something about a relationship coming in that you have to watch out for the king of cups energy oh my word you have three kings here so there you go you do have the two of coins so one of the people that you are looking at or one of the people who are interested in you has some toxic energy so libra you have to keep you know you have to keep your eyes open so Let's look and see what is going on with this page of swords. A little bit of crying. <laughs> and that really can be online dating along with the Aquarius energy. Swords are oftentimes um, very much geared towards the internet and electronics and communication and devices, telephones. Okay. Seven of Wands. Oh, you have your eye on somebody. Somebody has their eye on you. Both of you are in it to win it. You are definitely, you both have different suitors. You both have multiple options. The Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy. You might have just met somebody by chance. You, This is the timing is right for love coming into your life. The Knight of Wands energy is looking into the past. It looks as though you were in a more frivolous mood in the past. That, you know, before this time a libra it looks as though you weren't as serious in your search for love as you are now because you're looking backwards the ace of wands speaks to the fact that you're very enthusiastic and i do think you're attracting somebody who might have player energy you know this devil energy so we're gonna see as we go along here so tell us about the player energy okay so the ace of swords is coming in you have a lot of clarity about someone you both of you look like you were not very serious because we have the three of pentacles somebody you may have worked with you may have had drinks with you may have had fun with so there is sort of a best friend or a bestie element about that energy 
Um, so let's see what else we have. We have Hierophant. Okay. So for some of you, there may have been a player energy, somebody who um, may have had some other commitment. But let's look and see what this Aquarius King has to say about your love life. Ah, there we go. You're leaving player energy behind for something much more stable. You want a grounded relationship, a, a Hierophant energy versus that Knight of Wands energy. So you're moving steadily. You're doing the work. You're doing whatever you need to do to have what you want. So look at that Page of Swords again. Really checking people out on the internet. Really looking and seeing what's going on with them. You don't want to deal with anybody with secrets. And that's what I have here. Is that you're, you're, you know, doing your, your, your vetting, basically. The person that you're going to choose is going to be someone that you've been able to find um, a lot of information about. You know, background sort of checking but the Three of Wands is all about your ships having come in. And now we have the fourth king. Okay, well, excuse me, the King of Cups twice now. So we have a clarifier here. You may be dealing with a Scorpio for a long-term commitment. The Scorpio energy. The Scorpio King is a king that's very calm. That energy is all about of being stable, of going through adversity, coming out on the other side, and really knowing how to handle life, how to solve problems, how to make things happen, how to manifest. So Scorpio is very, very strong in this reading so far. So let's see what else we have about the Scorpio King. Judgment. So your Scorpio King is not going to tell you right away, but I get the Scorpio King energy, doesn't matter male or female, is somebody of interest and somebody who has not been fulfilled in love and they want to be fulfilled in love. They have fire in their belly to make this work. So we have this energy that speaks to the fact that you may not like just immediately gravitate to this person. You may be kind of like, eh, I don't know about Scorpio. You know, I'm going to keep my options open in the early part of dating. I'm going to make sure is what you're saying to yourself, Libra, that you're going to stay balanced. Well, it's a good choice. So why do we have the Capricorn Queen here? Somebody who's very nurturing, kind, loving. Ten of Coins. So what we see is I've gotten a Ten of Coins for all the air signs. Every single air sign. The Ten of Coins is legacy marriage, legacy relationship. It's about building a legacy. It's about having a family. It's all about the energy of abundance of having working very hard to have a beautiful home and a beautiful life. And we have the Queen of Cups energy. So now we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. We also have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So whatever is going on right now, Libra, you are stacking the deck in your favor. And it looks like it does come down to two different people. So what do we have? You are all about really getting what you want. All right. So tell us about the Two of Coins, please. What is it about the Two of Coins? The Chariot card. So it does look like in the past you went after a relationship with someone who might have been juggling you. You know, you had a lot of fire in your belly for the relationship, but now we see the, I call that runs with scissors, the Knight of Swords, which is to me very much about reworking the past wanting to have a really good life, willing to go forward with great enthusiasm, a lot of fire in your belly for having what you really want. The Tower card, see the Tower card twice. So to me, the Tower card is very much on that Knight of Wands energy. You're just not, you're just not, that's not where you're at anymore. Ace of Cups, we have new beginnings and we have love and we have courage and we have new beginnings here. So very powerful energy. You are definitely, definitely getting what you want, Libra, coming in. This energy is manifesting in the reading. The moon card is Pisces energy. It's a feeling of confusion, feeling lost, feeling somewhat scared. But you have courage. 
you know, and we see you as highly desirable. Nine of Pentacles, single and ready to mingle. Again, considering, I think, the Capricorn, uh, the Taurus King and the Scorpio King. I feel as though the person that's in the past is that uh, Knight of Wands energy. You know, you don't want to have to worry. You don't want sleepless nights. And the good news is, is that sleepless nights are gone. This is a reversal. The sleepless nights that you've had in the past uh, because you weren't in a committed relationship with somebody that you cared about are simply gone. It's gone with the wind. <laughs> the five of coins. So you feel. I feel as though that person really left you in the cold. They really didn't tell you much. They weren't very kind to you. You know, certainly you've had some wounding, but you really have developed a new sense of bravery, of courage, of excitement, and look at what you get. You now have two cards. You have the Ten of Coins up here, a lot of nurturing energy, but in the heart of this reading, it shows that you are going to have a match come into your life in the very near future. They're already probably around you. The Four of Wands, though, speaks very definitely to the next four months unfolding in a way that's going to give you tremendous stability, love, and a potential marriage partner. Right now, we see the, the lantern is being raised by a King of Pentacles energy. They're watching you. I would say that many of you are online dating because we've had the, the Page of Swords twice. Your person basically is looking at you from afar. They're not really saying much right now. They're very much uh, just quiet, sweet, kind. King of Swords energy. Now we have once again all the kings on the table. Um, the King of Swords energy says that your person is very strategic. They want what they want, and that's all they want. They want someone who's serious like they are. Your person is looking for the queen. And not only are you the queen of cups, you're the queen of uh, pentacles. So your person is very much deciding on the relationship that they want, and they won't settle. They won't settle for less. Your King of Pentacles is not going to settle. But we see you with a legacy relationship with that Ten of Coins. Why is the Tower card here for our beautiful Libra friends? The Tower card. Let's see what we have. The Ace of Coins. Nice. So the Tower card is coming in. It looks like you're going to narrow your choice down to one person. So when we look at this, we had the Two of Pentacles here. You know, choosing to have new love instead of old love. And we also had the Two of Pentacles here. That in your heart space, you're only choosing a relationship that can culminate in stability and a marriage. So why is the Ace of Coins here? That is the engagement ring with the Three of Cups. Okay, so let's see. We have you moving forward. That, you know, in your heart space, you've really healed. You've taken care of yourself. And you're moving boldly into a new future. Eight of Coins, getting to know somebody. Maybe dealing with a Virgo or Virgo-like Earth energy. But you are all about learning whatever you have to learn to bring a new fabulous cycle into being. You want to level up and you are... So let's, why do we have the devil card here? The devil energy, yeah. Somebody, this came out reverse, temperance is that essentially your person still wants to be with you. They're very obsessed with you. This is a knight of wands energy. This is this, you know, this energy right here. And your person is almost of the, the, well, I don't care if you get married, Libra. You know, we can still have fun, but it's reversed. You're not accepting them back. You are not accepting any kind of tip, you know, topsy turvy, crazy situation that is not going to serve you. You are not there, Libra. You are not there. See, eight of swords. Eight of swords. You shut it down, and eight of cups. You've walked away. You are just not even going to speak to that person. It looks like that relationship of toxicity is long over for you, Libra. The Sun card with the Scorpio King, the happiest card in the deck, the joyfulness, the playfulness, the, the heat of the sun, and there you go. You have manifested new love. I feel very much, for some of you, it'll be a Scorpio. For others of you, it'll be a Taurus. It could also be the Capricorn Queen 
or the Cancerian Queen, you know? So it does look like you manifest a new love relationship very successfully. So I'm going to clear the cards quickly and I'm going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. And um, right now, Mercury Retrograde chewed up my computer. So I can't really edit anything. So I'm going to do this uh, a little bit more slowly here. I do personal readings. I have a very high rating of accuracy, uh, independently rated. Uh, the information is in the comment section with a welcome if you'd like to have a personal reading i'd love to i feel honored if you chose me thank you so let's see what we have here now for the person's thoughts feelings and tensions and actions okay we have a little focus i'm telling you mercury retrograde has messed with me tell me in the comments below what has this mercury retrograde been doing in your life because i'm finding i'm a gemini and uh, virgo rising double mercury ruler and i'm finding that it has raised absolute havoc with all of my electronics including my dishwasher that's only two years old all right so your person's thoughts are to pursue you they want you as a best friend they feel as though the two of cups that is a marriage energy it's usually the bride and groom but they feel as though you're besties that that's what they're seeking in a love relationship and you fill that bill it shows a seven of coins they are invested so when they think of you they think of rushing forward to talk to you really having this intense relationship with you of sweetness cancerian energy gemini energy and the seven of pentacles is taurus energy so in their heart space this person has been lonely for a long time they have fire in their belly for your relationship the five of swords is uh, them actually holding back and not telling you yet so we get this you know in their heart space are afraid of being hurt we'll clarify these but that your person's very much afraid of being hurt and um, they feel as though they've been in other relationships and it looks as though they haven't had luck and the love is here right behind them their intentions to make this relationship with you work. They want a commitment. This is hopes and dreams for love coming true and coming through. The star card is Aquarius energy. It is about being spiritually in love with you, doing, you know, always operating from the higher good. This is a legacy building card. And we saw the Ten of Coins and the Four of Wands earlier. So we have this beautiful star card with the Two of Cups. Your person looks as though they've been through, you know, their own sort of difficulties in love, and they are ready. So, oops, I didn't shuffle those so much. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in the deck. Here we go. Let's look at this. We had that come out the same way as before, so... All right, so what else do we, this person, how do they, what do they intend with you? What do they intend with you? Four of coins, holding on, being very happy. The temperance card reverse that just popped out also tells me that they're not going to go back to somebody from the past, just as you are not going back to somebody from the past, not part of your relationship. We have the Hierophant, I mean, excuse me, the Hermit here. So your person feels very much that they're in this sort of planning stage in your relationship. They, they're trying to seek answers in terms of the relationship itself. To me, this is just about getting to know you more because this is a new love relationship reading, as it turns out. The outcome, their actions are going to be to wait till the timing is right in your relationship. The Wheel of Fortune taking choosing their moment to to come to you look at that ten of cups oh the ten of cups i love it that's your outcome that is your this is their actions waiting till the timing is right to really share with you that they think that you're the one uh to tell you they do want to tell you about their love life they won't disclose everything but this person really wants to come forward and be very very honest with you we have the ace of cups the new love the ten of cups a marriage card the two of cups a bride and groom card 
the star card <laughs> the hopes to wish fulfillment and love hopes and dreams for love coming true page of pentacles they are going to study you like a book libra that is what they are up to so your person's definitely in it to win it with you i love the energy for you we're going to take a look at clarifying a couple of these cards let's see why the four of cups is here the four of cups in their heart space means that they've really been wounded you know they've they've looked for love in all the wrong places and it looks like they're giving that behavior up they just want somebody who is reciprocating with them they have been treated badly you know the five of swords so this person is in a healing mode but the judgment card says that by making good choices they feel as though their choices have been faulty that they have put up with things that they shouldn't have put up with they were very much all alone uh, in their relationships in the past sort of like well where's the party I thought this was supposed to be different so they do have some baggage here but it certainly looks oh the, here we go the Scorpio King has appeared again and that tells us that your person has gone through a rebirthing process in their love life and they are ready so that's what I have for you, Libra. It's been a joy uh, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me about Mercury retrograde and how it's affected you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.